are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Sports fans, we need to talk about the NFL. A few months ago, a former New England Patriots player named Eugene Chung made a wildly bold allegation against a particular NFL team and a person who was interviewing him for a coaching position, I believe a head coaching position. Now, we know that the NFL has the Rooney Rule out there, which states that every team must interview at least one minority for a head coaching position. I've never been a fan of it. I don't believe that it works and it does not work because it prioritizes skin color over qualifications. And I believe that the best person for the job should get it. However, on the flip side, we've actually seen a push for teams to actually get more black head coaches, mainly talking about the NBA. But I believe this is also the case with um, the NFL as well. I truly do believe it. So there's a push out there for black head coaches. Now, Eugene Chung, his allegation was when he interviewed with it, with his team, he was told he wasn't the right minority because apparently this team, they wanted a black candidate and he was Asian. So he was discriminated against if this is true. Well, the NFL investigated folks and they found nothing. They found absolutely nothing. This is not a good look, I believe, for Eugene Chung. Now, if it's true, he should have came out and provided much more details and cooperated more with the NFL. But apparently, based on the NFL statement, that wasn't the case. They had nothing to work with, folks. So check this out. NFL says it can't confirm discrimination allegation by Eugene Chung. The NFL says it cannot confirm Eugene Chun's allegation that a team official made discrim- discriminatory comments during his interview for a coaching job. This is the NFL statement here. Quote, after multiple discussions, including with Mr. Chung and his representative, we were unable to confirm the precise statement that was made or by whom and under what circumstances any such statement was made. The lead said in a statement Thursday. So they had nothing to work with here. They found nothing. They they said they talked to him, I guess, multiple times. Him and his representative. They couldn't confirm anything because apparently Eugene Chung didn't give them anything to work with. Did he just make this up? I don't know. I don't know. But I can tell you this. If this was me and this actually And if this situation actually happened to me, I would actually drop the team and the person so the NFL could investigate. But he didn't want to do it. It says here, Chung, a 1992 first round pick by the New England Patriots, played five seasons in the league and served as an assistant coach for a decade. He told the Boston Globe in May that he was told he was, quote, not the right minority by an interviewer. Chung, who is Korean American, didn't identify the team and told ESPN in May that he wasn't trying to, quote, call anyone out, close quote, by publicly revealing who said it. The lead said that such comments have no place in the NFL or in any contemporary workplace. Quote, we intend to use this occasion to reinforce the commitment of the NFL and every NFL club to ensure appropriate interview processes and develop diverse, inclusive, and respectful workforces on and off the field, the lead said. Mr. Chung has offered to assist us moving forward, and we welcome the opportunity to speak with him about how we can better advance employment opportunities throughout the league. He became a he began his uh, coaching career with the Eagles on Andy Reid's staff in 2010, and as an assistant offensive line coach, He followed Reed to Kansas City in 2013, then came back to Philadelphia with Doug Peterson in 2016. So there you got it, guys. The NFL had nothing to work with. Nothing. It doesn't seem like he was very cooperative because based on his statement here from the NFL, it seemed like the league 
really didn't even have a team to even talk to based off of this. I mean, come on, he ne- he needs to do better than this. He needs to really drop drop the team that he was interviewing with if this actually happened. I don't think this is a really, really good look for Eugene Chung. So going forward, you know, if something else happens like this, people, the public match, you think, oh, no, this never happened. Remember Eugene Chung? Same thing. He never dropped the team or anything. We don't believe it. So I believe this was a mistake by Eugene Chung not coming out and being very helpful because now the NFL statement really does make him look pretty bad, if you ask me. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this, black and white sports fans? Oh, man. Do you guys actually believe Eugene Chung? I don't know what to make of this, but the NFL statement, they had nothing. They had absolutely nothing whatsoever. But make sure you guys go over to blackandwhitenetwork.com. Sign up and become a member today. Three different membership plans just starting at $5 per month. We also do have a donation tab as well. If you don't want to sign up for a membership and get the merch, we have a new discount code. Actually, the same discount code, LaChana Sucks, S-U-X, all one word. And this time, we're going to give you 21% off your purchase, folks. So check all that out on the website and support blackandwhitenetwork.com. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.